Good morning. Good morning, morning. So, yesterday, I'm really happy to say that we were able to reach the Silver League, which means that uh, our AI was uh, intelligent enough uh, to beat the, what was it, the bronze uh, bus. And we just, uh, yeah, we, we just got the news that uh, we are in the Silver League. So today is gonna be more work on the AI to make sure like we just uh, go further in the ranking. Um, so what we did yesterday was to focus on uh, the movements, which means our bot is able to uh, place radars and move towards uh, the ore, dig it, and uh, and move further. So I think the good thing is to just like go ahead and play the code against someone that is uh, high in the ranking so we can see what we do and what they do. And then from that, we can choose uh, whatever. So here, for example, you can see that they directly have a trap. This is the first, their first thing, it is having a trap. That's good. Um, on our end, we just place a radar here. And you can see they already have R in four, at least four of their butts. So I think they place Place, uh, wow, our butt is so bad. You see, like uh, here, we're just not moving because we there is no R, so we're just waiting. So, this is something that we're gonna need to fix. Whoa, okay. So, here, what happens? Oh, they trigger the. They trigger this, which is the bomb, the trap that they placed. Hmm. I just noticed. Uh, haven't started. Okay, okay. I just noticed I haven't even started the chat. If I had tail, if I had tail. don't worry. If you missed it, uh, because you can still uh, see the replay either uh, on Twitch or on YouTube, everything is there. Um, yeah, don't worry. <laughs> and here, like we have our AI that is still quite basic, so there's still a lot of work to do. So as you can see, we have three bots, and they still have four bots. Uh, so they already killed two of our bots here. Yeah, they killed two of our bots and they sacrificed one of theirs. This is a really good exchange because then I'm just gonna struggle to keep up with their with their improvements. So yeah. It seems that one thing that they do is that they uh, are picking Ori on top of where they are. if I had tail okay so this is uh, interesting I don't think there's like a major oh yeah we actually we missed here like one new event which is uh, they killed one of our bots you can see here the trap and wow okay so here what happens is that they place the trap 
place the trap and dig right away. Wow, that's a very nasty move, Skrill. That's interesting. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's always fun to watch these replays because you can see and learn a bit more what's happening, what the other players are doing. So yeah, let's just like yeah, it's back and forth, collecting min, collecting ore. You can see here like this is the the current score. We I have 22, they have 35, so they are already way ahead. After collecting a lot of ore, this is even worse for me, I think. So yeah, that's normal. And here they choose to uh, wow. They choose to stop by and kill one. Oh, interesting. It just destroyed one of my bots. Huh. That's funny. I was super lucky because uh, I was just before the trap and my move make me land just after the trap. So I never, uh, I'm not destroyed by the, the trap. Huh. So it's a one versus, like they lose one and they kill one of mine. I think they, this was not what they, they did. Two steps from hell, it can be scary to play against the first. Yeah, yeah, it is scary. But, but I think it's a good, uh, it's a good uh, way to put you in the, in the right mindset, you know. We have so much to do to make a good bet. Okay, so we lost. We, have, we had 33 and they had 55. Uh, so what should we do for this stream? I think it would be best. So we have two things we can do and I need to choose one between one of those two. One thing is to detect where the enemy is digging to be able to avoid traps. Uh, so for example in this place, no actually I never dig on, uh, on a trap. I just I I just should be should stay away from from this kind of uh, of holes. It might be hard to do. So yeah, there's one thing which is staying. If I tell what are those green things? The green thing is the radar, and as you can see, like in blue, this is the area where I can see. So I can see the world map, but I cannot see the ore, which is the the stuff we have to collect. And I can only see it when I place a radar. So for example, at the beginning here, no, we cannot see this uh, pattern here. So this is why both the teams are picking up a radar. And yeah, uh, they, on their end, they place the radar right away in the middle. And this is enabling them to see Let's see, they can see all of this ore here, which is super useful for them. Meanwhile, on my end, I can only see this one, which is not the best. But I'm placing right now the radars randomly. Uh, so let's let's try to replay in another, let's try to replay because uh, I will uh, place the radar at another position. No, actually I replay, oh, okay. This is, uh, okay, okay, never mind. Uh, so yeah, my robots are not moving until the radar is set up. Uh, okay. To be honest, I think the, the most logical thing would be to avoid these traps. But at the same time, I want to go and attack the opponent. Which means we need to pick up... Uh, what is it again? A trap. I think we're gonna go with traps because this is gonna be a bit more fun than just avoiding game. Um, yeah, so let's just check out the ranking. Right now we are something around 600, something like that. 700. I don't know exactly where I am. I don't know if I can find myself around me okay I am 717 
uh, yeah, so let's just make this awesome now. <laughs> okay, so as a reminder, there is the strategy is two-step strategy. First of all, there is the hive mind, which is like a super intelligence uh, that is uh, that knows all about the game and uh, all about the the robots. So the, so here. The only thing I'm doing right now is to choose a robot to fetch the next radar. And then there is the robot mind, which is each of these robots have like their own uh, decision system, which is very, it's the state machine. So nothing uh, crazy. Uh, I make sure the robot isn't dead. Otherwise, um, yeah, otherwise yeah, it's important to do that. So otherwise you can lose a game by not answering. And then we just make sure the robot is ready to fetch the next radar. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking a bit while doing that. It's called two-step strategy. <laughs> hey, Cipay V, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So I coded all this yesterday. Yes, I coded all this yesterday, except that I started from the... Let me just uh, show you the link. I started from this JavaScript uh, starter kit, which was super useful. It is very long already, 177 lines, and it has a lot of uh, cool stuff. And I, because I didn't want to spend time on the on recording the game engine, I just wanted to focus on the strategies. This is why there is all of these things. Uh, okay. You missed so much, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> so yeah, ye yesterday f we focused on moving the um, radars and moving ourselves. Now we're gonna focus on uh, fetching the trap. So we're gonna do something similar to the radar for now. Uh, so let's let fetch trap. Two steps from here. Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the stream. So we need to make sure the trap cooldown. Game the trap cooldown is equal to zero. Yeah, because here we were anticipating the radar cooldown. So if this was uh, if we had just one turn to wait, we were already going back to the home base. But here we're not going to anticipate the trap cooldown because I don't feel like it. So, <laughs> uh, and I think we just we similarly to the radar strategy, we are not enabling uh, robots to have multiple traps. So they will just be one robot carrying trap at a time. Um, yep. What else? So if we do that, robots will be carrying traps like crazy. I think that's okay. Um, I think we should target... Uh, oops. Ori that has just a cell with just one Ori. Are we two Ori? I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Let, let's just uh, for now we just uh, we say there should be at least uh, we should at least see one Ori. We'll try. We'll try. Th those are numbers. I think if you want to get really crazy, those kind of uh, numbers could all go into uh, something like a genetic algorithm. Meaning you put random numbers and you make a lot of these bots fight against each other and you find the ideal numbers for uh, like, yeah, for this kind of uh, level triggers. Uh, but we are not doing that. We are starting with something very simple. Maybe in the last stream if we have an okay strategy we can uh, play with uh, some crazy things like that. <laughs> Let's focus on something good enough. Uh, 
So here, what I was doing when I have the condition uh, to fetch the radar, I was focusing on uh, selecting the right robot to do the job. I think I'm just gonna do the same. Except here that now that we have the fetch trap and the fetch radar, we should make sure the robot is not um, carrying something else. Uh, so robot.item can have all those values, radar, trap, or ore. So it should not have a radar or a trap. So it should not have Um, it should not have a trap. Yes. And here it should not have a radar. Okay, so here we're making sure the robot is not dead and it doesn't have a radar and we take the robot that is the closest to the home base to do the job. Uh, another thing... Uh, it should not be a robot that has been choose by fetch radar. So let's make sure this is the case. Robot.id is not the same as fetch radar. So either it's not fetch radar or this robot. Okay, so this is a bit complex, but it's just. If there is, if fetch radar is not is not null, then we make sure the ID is not the one that uh, is here. So here, let's write a comment. So we choose a robot to fetch the next trap. Yes. Oh yes. Because we're gonna trap these enemies. Hopefully, at the end of the stream. Okay. Uh, okay, so here we know that we have at least one robot able to fetch the trap. So we're just going to do something very similar to what's happening over there, which is uh, we assign the closest robot to the home base. The, we assign the ID to the fetch trap variable. If I had tail, how do traps work if you don't mind me asking? So traps work in the way that you place them, so you have to dig. It drops the trap inside the hole you just dig, digged. And if anyone is digging on the trap, boom, everything explodes. Uh, and as you can see, oops. So the trap explanation, you can see it here. So for example, there is a trap here, and let me see, we get clo very close to the trap, uh, so I am the blue person. Yeah, so here the red robot is digging on the trap, and it is killing both its robot and my robot. Boom. And the idea is that you want to destroy ro enemy robots because this is how you you can uh, win. So actually, a really interesting thing here is that because of the randomness in my bot, I'm not doing as bad as the previous uh, example. Oh, here. It's interesting here. Is there... One or two robots. I, I I don't understand exactly what who dies here. Oh yeah, here. Look, look at that. Here, for example, they they are here. They place a trap and then they directly dig it, which is uh, exploding both their robot and my robot. So we're gonna have to do something similar. We're gonna have to be a lot more uh, aggressive 
which is the, the fun part. Because <laughs> yeah, for now we were all about the positioning, and now we're, we're gonna be a bit more aggressive uh, in placing traps. For now we're just gonna place traps, and then in the second uh, step we're gonna make like this kind of uh, stew seed uh, technique, which is to dig our own trap in order to remove enemies. Uh, so. So here we are going to choose a position to put our trap. Uh, so we had a very nice utility that I created, which is the cell with R. No, so I, I'm not sure. I'm just going to say to the robot, here is a trap and then the robot is going to choose where he places the trap. I think that's better. I think here, yeah, we just say, okay, this robot, please go fetch the trap. But then, uh, that's it. So I think, to be honest, this is not optimized, both of these things, because for example here, instead of just choosing the robot that is the closest to the home base, we could choose a robot that has ore on it, because then, when it goes to back to the beginning, he just uh, yeah gi gives the ore back to so yeah. It's not the best, but this is uh, this is how we work. Like we want to have uh, something that works at all time, and we want to make small improvements little by little. That's how we we're gonna be able to do not that bad. <laughs> uh, okay, so I've told, I've told, I've told, and now. It is time to fetch trap. So here we're gonna add whoop, a little else if. And we are going to check if fetch trap is equal to the robot.id. And in that case, we are going to use the same logic. If robot is more than, than x, we move back to the beginning and robot that requests a trap okay so here we were able to uh, choose a robot and make it go fetch a trap now the next step is what is it it is to use the trap <laughs> Robot item equals to trap. That's gonna be interesting. So here the robot has to choose where to place the trap. Uh, so we can s we can see that uh, very good AI, which is first, uses two ways to place a trap. They are able to place a trap uh, at posi at a s predefined position. So next to multiple or, which is really good. I think this is a really good uh, idea because if you place a trap next to or, you can go back and trigger it when your enemy is uh, digging this or. Or they we can what they do is they also place a trap like a really aggressive play. They place a trap and detonate it right away when uh, we are heading back home. And the interesting thing about that is that you are also destroying the ore that your enemy is carrying. So this is really good. So the only thing to go against that would be to uh, move to a different place. So for example, here we see the enemy, we would move like to another row. Anyway, that's not what we are doing right now. As I said, like we're not avoiding uh, the enemy and the traps. We are only aggressively putting traps. Uh, so for example, here, like a good place to put a trap would be here, right? Because you would have like three R next to it. Although there is, yeah. Should we do that? I think we should. I think we should. So what we're gonna do is we are going to place the trap 
next to several or uh, how do we do that how do we do that oh no Let, let's do the first step we place a trap on an or so uh, we need to go to a place So we take the we check the closest one that has more than one R. Uh, so the cell with R, how do we know the number of R that is left? Ha! How do we know the R? Okay, amount of R or question mark if unknown. Okay. Okay, so cell with R should already be filtering. Should already be filtering with the cells that have R. So we need to filter. Sorry, don't know where to go. We should be going here. We should filter cell, cell or is more than one. Up, 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 up. That's the typical prayer that I'm <laughs> doing. I'm writing code at the wrong place. Whoops. Okay. Cell or there is more than one or. Actually, we can say there is only two. Let's say just more than one. And in that case, ah, yeah, but you want to see a competitive AI Bomberman game. Yeah, <laughs> actually, we're close to that, right? We are close to that because here we are just like uh, playing with bombs. So that's very similar to Bomberman. I they, I've seen some AIs that chain the traps. So you put several traps and then you trigger one and all of them will chain explode. So that's a strategy as well. Uh, but we're not going this way for now. Um, so yeah, we take the closest and we go there. Uh, if there is no closest, so that's something that can happen. What are we gonna do? Should we wait? Yeah, we're gonna wait. I don't like it, but... That's something that we can improve uh, in a second step. Okay. So now it's going to be the fun thing. We move. Closest that X minus one. Closest that why? Uh, there's one thing we should check if. Uh, okay, okay, we should check if we are already close enough. So, robot the distance closest is below one. Then in that case, what we do, we dig, we dig. Actually, uh, actually, I think I see like uh, an interesting thing here. Are we? Let, let me just check something because, like, I'm, uh, I'm seeing that it looks like I'm placing a radar where I am. I should maybe not do that. I think. Sorry, I'm going in several directions at the same time, but here, like, we are placing a trap, and what we want to do is to be next to the stay to the place we dig. Uh, so we want to be just one before the place we dig because we always want to be more closer to the home base 
how useful is a one for one trade off though? Uh, so one for one, I don't think it's worth it if I had tail. Uh, but I think a two for one is brilliant. I think you do a two for one once, that's it, you're good. So yeah, the goal is really to uh, to destroy uh, the enemy robots in order to have more robots than the enemy. So yeah, that's uh, that's the main uh, main idea. And right now, this is not something <laughs> I've implemented. And I think a one-for-one -one trade off is useful when you already have more robots than the enemy. In that case, you're just crippling their ability to come back to, to the, in the game. Because then, in the end, you have one robot, they have zero robot, and they, that's it. That's it. <laughs> uh, okay. So, here, what I wanted to do is to make sure we move one so i'm doing two changes at the same time that's not good but that's okay let's let's do it for now we are not moving above the radar goal but just one before so here we also say below than one because maybe yeah that should be good no below than two yes Yes, 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 we should uh, save some uh, movements, some turns with that. Let's try, let's try to replay that. Let's have a little replay. Same opponent, which is the first one, which is going to be really hard to beat, of course. Okay, so here we place our first... Let's... Okay. We place our first radar. Oof. We lost how many robots did we lost? We lost three robots. Oh my god, this is really bad. <laughs> oh three robots lost. So now they, they're just like super Oh <laughs> Did you see what happened here? I think I, I killed myself. Yep. So one thing that is important is to never dig where I place the trap. So that's something that I should code. I was expecting this, but still, <laughs> we need to, to fix that. Uh, so where is the digging happening? So here. Cells with R. I think we should remove the radar from that. Yeah, I think I think we should remove the radars from the cell. Can you make sure your own robot never clump? What, what do you mean by clump? Oh yeah, that would be great. If they never gather at the same place, that would be really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th those are definitely improvements that uh, we need to make if we want to make something good here. Uh, get cell with R, so it should be more than one R and uh, cell dot. How do we know if there is a radar? Uh, where is the cell here? How do we know if there is our own trap? I'm not sure we can know that, except we save it somewhere. Yeah, I think we're gonna save that somewhere. Okay, so a cell. Sorry, it's a lot of scrolling right now. The cell doesn't have an ID, they just have an X and a Y. So we're gonna have to yeah, I agree. If I had tail, like this is uh, something I want to do. 
no gathering load. Uh, so scrolling, scrolling, scrolling here. In the memory, we have a radar goal, which is equals to null. Now we're going to do uh, own traps. And this is going to be a map. And uh, here, what we do when we place a trap on map, own traps of uh, as gonna be x dash no x dot dot y no it's closest okay it's gonna be equals to true let's say one whatever so now we know that sorry oh, i'm trying to find the function yeah own traps so here we should avoid to use our own traps because that would be dumb and this is what the robot or ai is currently doing <laughs> uh, okay so on traps it should be equals to false to make sure we don't have a trap in this cell with R. Which means that we, we never consider this cell as a cell containing R. Let's replay in the same condition and make sure we don't do a stupid uh, sacrifice. Let's see, let's see. Okay, so here you can see they are they did here like a really good thing. Whereas here and here, just killing one robot. Uh, let's just check out the ending. We have uh, 33 against 49, so we're still like behind. Of course, I'm not expecting to beat the first AI. So here, it's not doing good. I think we should at least make this radar go a bit further like one or two further Let, let's do that because uh, it's a bit annoying to see that uh, how did we do that it's just small adjustments it is here where we choose where to place the radar here let's say five so we never place the radar too close to the to the beginning okay let's do a replay and see what happens now let's maybe play too quickly okay so here we're stuck okay no we're good Oh, wait, what happened? They killed us. Where did they kill us? Oh, here. Here, is, th is this what they do? Uh, okay, so they say some stuff. Rad. And here, Kamikaze. Okay, so they are doing this. Interesting. Looks like they are aggressively trying to destroy our robots. Which is not useful in that case because it's just destroying one robot. It's a one versus one trade. So I don't think this is something we want to, pur to pursue. We don't want to do the same. Uh, so they are really good. Uh, something interesting is that they don't die to our traps they are able to avoid the traps that's not cool why let's 
let me see the radar from the red. I think that's it. that's a good uh, improvement for AI. Wow, they have all the ore. Oh, they, they missed this part. That's all. That's it. Uh, okay, that's good to know. Good to know. <laughs> I think this is good. Like th this, uh, and then we're just like uh, doing more back and forth. Oh, so this is interesting. Here, we're just stopping to do anything. Hmm, that's not good. We should be placing a tr uh, radar around here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, so what's, what is our condition to place the radars? So here, in order to allow radars at the end, we're gonna remove this. Let's replay in the same conditions. So we should be getting those uh, ore at, at the end. Oh no, we are getting destroyed right away. So I think we're gonna have to take the idea from if I had tail. Oh wait, I made a mistake here. Let me revert. Let's focus. So this is map that with where we should be removing this. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So I think we improved in the way that we are placing traps. And this is good. But we are gathering in some places and this is not something that we want to do. Yeah, I think that's interesting. It's really cool to see the... I'm starting to really feel uh, feel good about the AI. Like it's uh, small improvements that really make it react in a better way. Uh, wow, what happened? Oh no, they just uh, chemicals one robot. That's okay. Let's go a bit quicker on the replay viewing. Okay, okay, then we just like uh, one robot against two robots. There is not much that we can do. Whoa! They finish us. They are finishing us. Oh, we are actually killing ourselves with a trap. One of our own trap. Is that the case? No, they are placing a trap here. And we are just uh, dying to this trap that they placed. Okay, 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 okay. That's that's okay. That happens. First of all, I'm gonna submit because I think we have made an improvement to the code that we were writing previously. So I think it's uh, it's good to see. It's gonna be interesting to see how much winning losing we are going to do. Uh, okay, so there is like. Uh, it Feels like um, like a 50 50. So, yeah, what we are doing now is we are. Oh, wait, what? What happened here? We are blue. Oh, I didn't see. Anyway, so battle in progress 3%. You should also see the, uh, pro the score progression on uh, the stream. What? There is a weird thing here. Okay, okay, okay. So you see in this on the screen you see the rank with the percentage of completion of progression for this uh, game computation. Uh, so meanwhile everything is uh, computing. We should be focusing. What should be focusing on? 
I think the next thing is the really nice idea from If I Had Tail to avoid grouping our robots. It's not gonna be trivial. It's not gonna be easy. Uh, what should we do? Should we try to compete against the, the bus? Is there like a bus in here? Oh, there is no silver bus? Hmm, interesting. Because we beat the bronze bus. Uh, so there is no silver bus for now. Uh, let's take another one just to let, let's do a bit more replay viewing and then we're gonna go into uh, into making sure our robots are not too close to each other wow 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 everything is going super fast here we should be let's do um, times one and here we see a very bad thing which is all our robots getting destroyed Wow, three robots at the same place here. Digging into an enemy trap. And this is the end. That's not good. That's a very bad loss here. Uh, I think this might be the most urgent thing to do. Making sure we don't dig into the enemy trap. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Yeah, I think that makes a lot of sense because we want to be aggressive by placing some traps and not digging our own trap. But at the same time, we want to avoid the enemy traps. Otherwise, we're just gonna be. We're gonna be toast. We're gonna be like, like those three robots. We're not gonna be able to <laughs> to continue the adventure. So so so. <laughs> uh, let me think how we should do that. So we should be checking. We should know if a hole has been created by us or by the enemy. Uh, so that's so my butt cannot see the enemy traps, and this is the hard part. We can only guess where they are. Uh, so one thing we can see if, is that if there is a hole or not. And when you place a trap, you always have to dig. So uh, you don't want to dig where someone already dug. Because there might be a trap. That's, uh, I think that's a simple strategy that can uh, avoid things like that. Uh, so le let's say if we replay in the same condition, do we have the same dead? Three dead robots. Let's see. No, we don't have the same three dead robots. The reason is because we have a rand randomness factor in our robot. Uh, actually, I, re I like the randomness factor. Wait, is that our trap here? Yeah. Not really useful, this trap, right? This is ours, I believe. I'm seeing it's not really useful because it is placed uh, where there is, n there is no aura left. We just place the trap and then no one will want no enemies will want to dig here. So, not awesome. Uh, so we could start by doing that. Uh, what is the leaderboard doing? We're still computing, right? Yeah. 
Tier computing. Um, so here I think we start to enter a, a phase where we have a lot of opportunities to make some small changes and it's hard to know are they gonna do well or not. Because uh, we know so far that we've been doing uh, okay because we've improved our ranking. Let me see. Yes, we improved the ranking here. That's good. But now... Okay, let's do the thing where we don't dig. We should focus. So we should focus on not digging the enemy holes. For that, we're gonna go in our memory and we're gonna go and say let own holes and what do we do every time we dig we update this so I'm not gonna pollute the strategy code here with this information. I'm going to go directly in the digging method. And we're going to do uh, we're going to do that. So yeah, here effectively we are using a hash map with a, a key that is a string that is the concatenation of the X and the Y and we are setting it to one. So we know if this is our own hole or not. Um, next step for this is to reuse this in the cells with Ori. Because we should n even not care. So either there is no hole. Let's see the hole variable where it is set. One if a cell has a hole. And what is if what is it if the cell has no hole? Let's see the input information. Sorry, scrolling zero. Okay, so we can say true and false. That will work. Uh, so we are here. So we should say either there is no hole, so cell dot hole is false, or there is a hole and this is our own hole. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So this is an interesting thing. We are making sure we don't dig when there is an enemy, when an enemy has created a hole. So this is very simple. And it enables to not care about the not care about the position of the enemies because one other thing we could do is make sure when an enemy stops somewhere to see, see like wh what's around them and uh, but yeah i think the hole just checking there's a hole and if it is ours is sufficient uh, what about the leaderboard computation it finished and we improved that's really cool Time for the confetti, because I'm really happy about that. <laughs> so, I don't know where we were. We were at seven something, 700 something, and now we have 500 something, which is great stuff. And now, oh, we're going down now. <laughs> yeah, of course, like other people are cutting hard. That's good. That is good. Now we can retry and there shouldn't be some weird things where we uh, dig our own, uh, no, dig the enemy. What? 
Cell is not defined. I am doing something stupid. Let me. Let me fix that. Okay, so this should be good now. Oh, actually, I, there's the ranking here. I don't know why I'm opening the leaderboard every time. Okay, actually, can you see the ranking? Let me just make sure. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Okay, let's see what's happening here. Uh, so, okay, so we're not moving at the start. Okay, so let's speed things up. So the interesting thing is that we haven't... So we lost here by 9 or but we l haven't lost any robots. While, if I'm not mistaken, they are placing traps, right? Oops. Are they placing traps? Uh, request trap. Yeah, they are requesting traps. Actually, they have. A a cooldown issue when they are requesting multiple traps but that's not our, our bot so we won't uh, <laughs> we, we won't uh, go and fix their bot right <laughs> that's not our job oh my god what did I do Oop. I just left the contest <laughs> my mistake <laughs> okay so let me select again our opponent and let's play the code one more time and we see that we are not digging their trap but there is still something that needs to be done because we are losing even uh, with this strategy okay so yeah we're losing by approximately 10 We are losing by 11. Uh, one thing I'd like to do is I'd like to see their radar positioning. Okay, so they are methodically placing the radars. So here one thing I'm thinking is that it might not be a good idea to place traps. Why? Because this bot seems to be avoiding traps. So like we're losing uh, ore by placing traps. What should we do next now? Actually, we should submit the bot because we have the trap avoidance strategy now. Uh, so we were uh, 527. Oops. And now, let's see what happens. Uh, so we are red. Oh my God, they are killing us. Let's send the send to IDE. Let's see what, what happens. Uh, yeah, well, 
Okay. Uh, okay, so we are red, so that's good. I cannot see if this is our traps or theirs. It's okay. Uh, so here there is gonna be... So here we are in front of them, but they are making this power move where they destroy two, three of our robots for two of theirs. Uh, and then they destroy... And then we destroy ourselves. What's happening here? Like that's an interesting replay to watch. So here. Who is digging? Dig boom. Okay. So they are digging, uh, they are digging our grave, <laughs> they are making it... Uh... This is a very good move. I think this is something we should be able to do. We should try to, to kill the robots. Maybe only place trap for the first half of the game where the bot are still closed and then abandon the task to at the end. It's a good point. Although, although, see here, like how traps are really like sealing the the game. Wait, yeah, I had 62 and they had 55, and because of the trap, they. Oh wait, I, I am winning, right? I'm missing some uh, assets, so it's hard to say. Is there like some thing that I'm blocking? Oh, much better. Uh, Brave was blocking some assets here. Uh, but now we lost the game. Damn it. Sorry, my browser was blocking the assets. That's why I was not uh, seeing things correctly. <laughs> Damn it. Uh... Okay, so here there is no killed but because they are doing a very nice job at co oh wait yeah they are doing a nice job at collecting everything well they are getting very busy by the end okay 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 let's play another time uh, yeah I think I think we might have like a we might, uh, I don't know, like uh, I'm a bit stuck on uh, what to do next, you know? Seems like uh, good enough. I th I'm not sure the randomness of the radar is helping us. Look at this red uh, perfect grid. They have a perfect vision. Uh, my end. I am missing here some of these things. So yeah, I don't think that's really good. The thing is, we might be battling for radars. If I place the radar at the same position of them, it's going to be interesting. Because you can hard code the radar placement. Yeah, I can, but I, I, I believe this is what they do. And if you place a radar where someone else has placed their radar, you make them lose their vision. So I don't know if I should, uh, I should go with the hard coded pla placement. So let's see. 
let's try to see where we lose uh, points. I think that's the best approach to do. So first of all, here the place. What's their first move? Okay, so this is their radar. This is my radar. My radar is too close from home. Thinking we might want to make this. And also like, okay, so, so there are multiple things we can do here to improve the opening game. Because as you can see by by the turn number 10 or 11, they already have five and I have just one. So I'm definitely doing a very bad thing at the beginning. Uh, ch -ch -ch. Looks like what they do, they just like go and grab a random, uh, random place to dig a hole. Uh, yeah, maybe I'm gonna do that. Hmm. I'm, I'm a bit uh, <laughs> not sure. So first of all, the radar is too close from the base. So let's improve that by making it a bit, a bit to the right. Oops, where is the radar positioning? Here, fetch radar. So it should be. Let's keep the two first uh, positions. Let's uh, replay in the same conditions. So what we're gonna do effectively is we're gonna place the radar two steps. What? Oh, this is not my radar. This is my radar. And here I'm already like a lot closer to what they were able to do. So maybe I'm, uh, I'm focusing too much on this map. Might be dangerous. But um, uh, I, I like the opening game better here. In the end, I'm still uh, 10 points below them. But I think the opening game is better. So here, let's let's see. We are rank 383, which is very really nice. Make, let's make sure it finished to compile correctly. To, sorry, to, oh no. We still have a bit of games to to be run. 67%. No, 80%. If I tell, yeah, they leave to go dig a random hole, but that hole, the dig, is also within the radius of where the first radar is going to be placed. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm not sure this is actually a, a smart idea. You might want to be digging where your radar isn't. I don't know. Maybe this is all about the probabilities of where the um, ore can be. Because to be honest, the ore is mostly in this area. Not that much in this area. Or here, or here. Hard to say. Oh, we are 420 now. Uh, so I want. So the best, the best thing would be to have like a full, a full score, and then submit again the butt. What did we change? We changed the positioning of the radar and see if there is a difference. Uh, to be honest, this is a bit fine tuning right now. If they don't get something. They are already in the vicinity to grab or when they can see it. Actually, that's a very good point. They are getting close to the radar. And then they are ready to grab the next or. Good point. Good point. Good point. Uh, let's see. Getting very close to seeing our actual rank. Uh, 
Yeah. Uh, hmm. Let me see. Haha. <laughs> it's funny how we are like uh, oscillating around f the position 400. It's just like, are we gonna be 300 something or 400 something? Uh, yep. Yep, 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 yep. I think I think I won't have like much time to really uh, fine tune things. We have 392. I think I'm gonna submit one more time with this radar that is a bit shifted to the left. Uh, and from that, it's okay. So I submitted just right now. Uh, and from that, we're just gonna. Wow. The red bot was doing something weird here <laughs> for a second. I don't know if you've seen. Um, so yeah, I think we're just gonna leave it compute the new ranking. And uh, wow, there is a lot of robot killing here. Wow. What is it? Two of our bots against two of their bots and then they get one uh... oh. this is really good <coughs> they are like uh, able to do something really well here and then we're gonna have a hard time to catch up pumpers nice wow look at all these traps is it me placing all the traps? I think this is me placing all the traps. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit too insane. I'm placing a lot, too, far too much traps, far too many traps. Okay, <coughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, I think we will have to just wait for these to compute. So I'm gonna end the stream right now. Uh, we've made some good progress by uh, placing traps and uh, avoiding the traps from others uh, on top of what we had on, on the first uh, stream which was placing radars and uh, harvesting ore so yeah feels like uh, this is a good progression I'm not sure it's gonna make a crazy improvement in our ranking like we did for the first stream um, yeah, it's been an hour already, exactly. <laughs> so yeah, that was super fast. Yeah, I totally lost track of time as well. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave the ranking compute and hopefully tomorrow we'll find some really nice ideas to uh, push ourselves even further in the rankings so that we can uh, be ready for the gold league. Yes. So thank you very much for following. Thank you very much for the chat messages and everything. And uh, yeah, we say goodbye on a very good improvement ranking. And we see each other tomorrow. Bye bye. Have a good day. Good night. <laughs>